Like nearly every agency of law enforcement, the state's Department of Corrections faces the challenge of recruiting and retaining officers. And to do that, the IDOC upped their pay for this year, becoming more competitive with surrounding agencies. And as we told you last night, well, they're hiring more people than they are losing. Yeah, that's a good news. Tonight, we take you inside other departments where staffing looks more promising, even as applications decrease around the state. Law enforcement leaders in the Valley pointed to both Meridian and to Nampa police as departments finding their way above the crisis. Many officers are moving from other states. We hear about this a lot. Yep. Washington, Oregon, California, as well as local departments in the Treasure Valley and around the state of Idaho to join their ranks. So can they keep up with workload demand? Officer Courtney Dozier. I've been with the city of Meridian for seven years now. So I joined April of 2020. We grew up super poor and horrible, nasty apartments, not the best neighborhoods, which means I was exposed to a lot of violence, a lot of um, abuse, either physical, mental, or sexual. I grew up in poverty my whole life, the inner cities, uh, and so, Growing up around gangs, drugs, and violence. When I found out that my older sister and my mom both experienced that type of violence, I like it kind of just gave me that fire underneath me to want to protect those people around me. You know what? I can actually just use my car and just push it out there. I just decided that I wanted to make a difference because it took one person to show interest and value and belief, being able to believe in me. All right, no, any sir. questions? No, sir. There's information you try to have a better day. Been. For me, it comes with different challenges. You know, I want, in a sense, people who look like me to be okay with, if a law enforcement is a job or a career that they choose, that it's okay, and that it can be fulfilling and rewarding. It takes a toll on your family, it takes a toll on your life. People don't want to put their entire life on the line for a career that people aren't even going to appreciate, right? I know the kind of cop I am and I know the way I police and I know that I do everything the correct way the way I'm supposed to. We're at a concern level. I wouldn't say we're at a crisis level. Joe Huff, uh, Chief of Police, Nampa Police Department. It's a huge concern for administration because we realize we can't work people seven days a week, week after week, so we have to allot for time off. What have you seen um, sort of evolve when it comes to retaining the officers that you have? Well, I think we've seen a, a, a whole shift in the culture, actually, in law enforcement. Um, you know, I would say six years ago that it wasn't problems hiring people. We would have uh, numbers that were up into the hundreds of people that would test for one open position. Today's numbers, uh, we're down about 13 positions right now in the city of Nampa. We'll have anywhere from seven to 15 people show up to, to test, and we try to test once a month uh, just to fill the vacancies that we have through attrition, retirements, and people just moving on to, to take other careers outside of law enforcement. Is it a struggle then when these people retire and then trying to backfill? It has been a struggle over the probably the last uh, 24 to 36 months. Um, you know, obviously it's been a struggle across the, the nation with the uh, with the nation's uh, feeling in law enforcement. Luckily though, in Idaho, we don't, uh, you know, people support uh, law enforcement. I think a lot of it has to do with the culture that we have at Nampa Police Department. It just hasn't been a struggle for us. It's pretty unique. Well, no, we're always hiring, but it's not a struggle. I'm a captain for the Meridian Police Department. Do you have any vacancies right now? We have one. We have one, one officer opening. We have an academy that starts September 12th, and there'll be eight people going into that, and that will leave us with one to fill for our March Academy. Everybody is fighting for the same applicants, whether they be lateral officers with experience coming from other places across the United States or their recruits that don't have any experience. We have seen a reduction in the number of applicants across the board in all things. However, the ones that we do get are good. 
We're looking for people in our organization that have good core values. Do you feel like you are competing with every other department in the Valley? And do you feel like that applicant pool is smaller now? The applicant pool is smaller. I wouldn't say necessarily that we're competing with them. I believe we've had two employees um, over the last year that have left for a higher wage department in law enforcement. I mean, we have pretty much unlimited overtime right now because of our short shifts. Nampa police officers made more than other agencies in Canyon County as they climbed the pay ladder last fiscal year. But they made less than police officers working in neighboring Ada County. For example, they made $4 less an hour than Meridian officers when they were starting out. After five years, the pay gap widened to almost $8 an hour. Our employees decided, uh, you know, they, they'll work the overtime. We want to do it right out the gate. We don't want to have problems later on. So we want to hire somebody that's going to fit our culture and our department. Do you want me to take this or if you want to take it? It's extremely hard to get hired on with Nampa because of their high expectations. But that was one of the things that, that like, was very appealing to me. Like, even though we are hurting for people, they've never lowered the standard because we need people. So you haven't had to change your standards at all in order to hire and fill vacancies? We will not change our standards. That is a deal breaker for us. And I think in the long term it can cause damage in my opinion. Boise is a big police department. Ada County is a big sheriff's department. Um, and they pay really well because they have to, to recruit because of the volume that they hire at. So we have to remain competitive with them financially when it comes to pay to compete with them because if we didn't, we would lose a fair amount of applications just on uh, pay alone. The thing that is unique about Meridian, it is growing so fast, including the police department, there's a lot of opportunities. I mean, do you think that that is an obvious correlation to make? Like, crime is going to remain low if you have police out doing proactive policing? We can't do it on our own. We need the community's help. And so where does that help come from? Well, it's our engagement with the community and tell them how important they are and what role they, what role they serve. And then they have to trust us that we're going to be there for them. As Idaho is growing, uh, Nampa needs to keep up with the growth that we're seeing. You're running at minimums an awful lot, so we prioritize our calls for service. Our response to a non-priority call may be a lot slower than people expect. Certain calls that we may have went to you know, five or ten years ago, we don't respond to anymore. whole police department wins and the community wins because we're actually out on the road patrolling and that's what they want. As the public watches this story like the biggest question is why should they care that their law enforcement departments are dealing with staffing shortages? How could you best summarize that? To have a safe environment in a healthy community you have to have public safety you know police and fire you have to have those resources there. People want to feel safe to go to the store they, they, they don't want to feel like they're living in a Chicago or a Portland or any of those cities and we have that environment. You know, other important pieces play into law enforcement officers' compensation packages, health benefits, PTO, longevity pay, Public Employee Retirement System of Idaho, or PERSI, and specialty and incentive pay. I also checked in with Boise Police for this story. It's down 32 officers, which is 10% of its force. Data shows the agency saw a higher turnover rate last year compared to the two years prior, with applications decreasing, housing prices soaring, and other agencies offering competitive pay. But BPD says it's also growing and adding positions and working to streamline backgrounding and training. A spokeswoman says more than 100 people recently applied for an entry level officer position. Tomorrow night, in our final piece of this series, we'll share solutions to the situation. If you missed any of our other stories so far, you can go to KTVB.com or our YouTube channel.